Hi, this is Andy Wax, Wood and Leather Doctor in Mount Laurel, New Jersey, and got kind of an interesting one today. Uh, beautiful kitchen chair, solid oak. Problem is, it's got a bit of a season crack. Okay, not a season crack. It's split all the way from front to back. Um, this is an interesting repair. So, a uh, couple different things that we could do. Um, first thing, of course, we're going to glue it up with a good quality wood glue um, and put it in pipe clamps and bar clamps and every other kind of clamp that I can come up with. Um, and while that's drying, uh, we could put dowels all across and try to join it that way to give it some more strength. We could take um, metal plates, put them underneath to give them some more support which we might do anyway. Um, but uh, I, I did this chair's brother a couple days ago using a different technique, um, which is working really, really well. So I'm gonna show you what that is. But first thing we're gonna do is get this ready, get it clamped up, get it glued up. So we'll be right back. All right, and just to show you that indeed this chair is really, really, really broken, um, it's split all the way down to the front of the chair. So, um, yeah, so there's that. Let's, uh, I've got it lying down on its front, and as I glue it, I'm going to let gravity kind of work with us to help pull the glue down all the way down the length of the crack, uh, and then we're going to clamp it up. So let's see what that looks like. Okay, so um, just have this wedged open, and uh, we're ready for glue. Glue, please! Thank you. And again, it's a lot easier to let gravity work with you than against you. Yeah, much, much better in the back. So, that was a good time to get the clamps on it. Yep. Okay, so for my money, this is the most interesting part of the repair. So to you woodworkers out there, you know very well what this thing is. To those of you that don't, um, this is called a pocket hole jig. And the way it works is, is that um, by putting a drill bit into this angle, ah, there you go, um, it's going to put a very shallow um, hole into both pieces of wood and allow a screw to go straight through, and again, at a very minor, minor angle, um, it's gonna join both pieces nicely. Um, and you'll see what it looks like, and as soon as you see it, uh, after I drill it and then put the screw in, you're gonna be like, oh yeah, yeah, I've seen that a million times before. You didn't know it was called a pocket hole. Well, it is. So I'm gonna do that now and show you how it works. So this should look familiar to you now, if it didn't before. Uh, you see these, uh, these pocket holes uh, on uh, furniture that you put together yourself um, from the store, places like Ikea and things like that. Um, nothing wrong with it, as long as it doesn't show, which it won't because it's on the underside of the chair, um, works quite well. So, screw goes in like that, and it's a special screw, it's got like a little collar around the edge, and it does that so that when it gets to the end, uh, it stops, because it's, there is a bit of a science to how long should that go in, because if it goes in too long, it's gonna wind up going through the other side because even though um, you know, we would like it to be completely flat, um, it's not possible to do unless you route it out um, this whole area 
here, um, but not necessary. that collar stops it from going too far and I'm looking and nope it did not go through and these pocket screws I'm going to do a series of them um, and the only limitation that I have is the depth of the clamp that holds this jig in place so I can probably get I can get about that deep here I can do the same thing I can do two on the other side um, and I actually have I've got another clamp. I think I can get a little bit closer to the center. But these things are going to do a really great job of giving this joint even more strength. Um, and uh, that's a pocket hole. And after just a little bit of wet sanding, uh, let it dry, uh, do some touch up, maybe put a little shellac over the top. Um, this chair turns out beautifully just like it's brother does on the top of the shelf back there and um, we've got ourselves uh, a kitchen set again. And friends, about three years ago adult lymphoblastic leukemia hit a member of my family. Thanks to the genius of our doctors, nurses, caregivers and the rest of our hospital family we pulled through. But the one thing that may have made the most difference in our outcome was a stem cell transplant to replace my loved one's faulty immune system with a donor's. That donor is our hero, and you can be that same hero to another family. Stem cell donation starts with just a cheek swab so that your information can go to a registry that links patients in need with their heroic donors. If and when you are matched, harvesting stem cells is nothing more than an IV and painless. Please read more about stem cell transplantation and then go to one of the links in the description under this video. If you ever wanted to be a hero, this is your chance to not only save one life, but save a family. Thanks so much for your consideration. I'll be back with another video soon.